everyone and welcome to today's vlog oh, you guys i implemented one of the things that i was talking about on my retrospective to just feel like i don't have so much going on during the day and i can already tell i feel better i got dressed before i started getting my kids ready for school on days where my husband is traveling i do this but when he's here i don't like i would usually use this time right now um like he they just my mother-in-law has just taken the boys to the bus stop my husband has taken their girls to school so i have this kind of window of time where it's really quiet and so usually this is when i would start focusing on myself but because of some things I was thinking about yesterday, I was like, well, what if I just wake up 20 minutes earlier, get myself ready, and then get the kids ready? Um, I would have all this time to like kind of get ahead on my morning routine. That way, when I have really busy back-to-back -back meetings, I don't feel like this pressure that it all has to be done during my lunch break. And I think that was an excellent decision because I feel like I'm starting the day off on a good foot. Um, I've gotten my routines done, so I just need to go back maybe later on today and just do some little touch-ups like wipe down the counters and sweep. But the dishes are done. The laundry is done. Um, the hot spots are handled for the most part. The bed is made. It, all those things are done and I haven't even started my work day yet. So that feels awesome. So whenever it's my lunch break, I can do maybe a little bit of weekly home blessing or zone cleaning, but I don't have to spend my whole lunch break cleaning. Also, today's not a very meeting heavy day, so I don't even have to wait until my lunch break to get things done. I can work and take a little break here, a little break there and get some things done that way as well. So. I'm just feeling like today is going to be an overall better day. I feel much more like relaxed and I'm looking forward to see seeing what the day brings. because I keep jumping back and forth between Eastern time and Central time. <laughs> but I know that I have another meeting in one hour. So for my home goals today, I will be doing um, swish and swipes for weekly home blessing. And then I've decided that I'm gonna do a bathroom refresh for the boys upstairs. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna go and clean out sinks and toilets. And then when I get up there to the boys' room, after I clean their sink and toilet, I'll set my timer for 15 minutes and just see what I can get done before the timer goes out. And then I will spend the other 30 minutes enjoying my lunch break. Since I used one of these SOS pads the other day to clean out my bathtub and also the girls' bathtub, I'm like obsessed with these. You guys, don't take any of my cleaning recommendations seriously because I do not know what I'm doing so don't ruin something at your house because of something you saw on this channel but one thing that I like to do is I like to switch it up girl I've been in a scrub daddy phase for a little while but I feel like this is my new interest so I will frequently mix up approaches just to, to kind of take some of the mundaneness and repetitiveness out of cleaning so this is what I'm going to be using today Christmas time 
transition into zone cleaning now so for this project I just plan to work in my boys's bathroom for 15 minutes and seeing what all can be accomplished um, I didn't do my swish and swipes in here since I knew I'd be zone cleaning um, I was going to and then I changed my mind I was like let me just spend those extra few minutes prepping and then I'll just clean everything at once and see what my 25 well my 15 minutes can get me um, so in terms of prep, I brought my mop bucket, I put my Tide hot water and I put a little bit of bleach for sanitizing, I have my mop that goes with it, and then I brought the SOS pads for the bathtub, and I have some cleaning rags, um, cause there's gonna be some things that I'm gonna touch that I don't want to re-dip into the water, so, um, I'm gonna turn on a YouTube video, I feel like I, this is becoming a theme, I don't feel motivated to do this. But I'm gonna set my timer for 15 minutes. I'm gonna turn on a YouTube video and just move my body until the timer runs out. And whatever I don't finish, I can come back or I can let it be, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. <laughs> check-in of the day um so the last time that we chatted is that a word past tense chatted um i was doing my zone cleaning and then i had some lunch i came and i jumped on a meeting so i was in a call and now i am kind of not on a call <laughs> i have some stuff to do but yeah, so I wanted to check in with you and kind of go over zone cleaning the bathroom. Do I feel like, you know, the work that I did in the bathroom was up to the level of a cleaning professional? No. Do I feel like um, the bathroom is less gross than when I started? Absolutely. Will I be going back to finish the things that I feel like could have been improved i don't know if i care that much like there are some things i think i can work on like instead of trying to do um a refresh it probably would be ideal for me to just spend a whole day cleaning the bathroom tile i kind of went through and just spot did some things you know in the bathtub it could benefit from a whole multiple day kind of session just really getting in there with the brush and maybe i'll do that but not this month <laughs> i've done my three zone cleaning sessions of the week and i'm not trying to be an overachiever so um another thing that probably could have been done which i can still do maybe at a different point i was just getting tired is the cabinets i have white cabinets and i saw that there was some toothpaste on it and um, i was trying not to reuse the rags like once i dipped it in cleaned gross stuff i didn't want to re it back in the water and i didn't have any other clean rags but i didn't want to wipe down the surfaces so i can probably just handle that i do my weekly home blessing in there um and i like clean the sinks and stuff in the toilet as often as i can i can't say every week at this point it used to be every week before i started working but as often as i can and um 
so that's something that when I'm going in there doing my weekly home blessing, I could just swing through and wipe down the cabinets. Um, I'm sure that there are people, you know, who would be wiping like every surface, like walls and stuff. I just, I'm not there yet, you guys, okay? I'm not there. But one of my zone cleaning sessions could be to, in the future, pull out everything out of the drawer or out of the closet, everything out of the cabinets. I've done that before and make sure that it's organized. Um, I wipe down everything. I've done that before, but that's not what I chose to use my time for today. But basically, I'm just saying I know that this was not a professional job, but like to me, it's not urgent that that all needs to get done right away. Like I'll just take my time and make it little by little. I'll make it better little by little over time. In fact, like next month, I could just dedicate the whole month to just bathroom but not this month, I'm tired. So yeah, today definitely feels much better than yesterday, just all around, and I'm here for it. Um, the last thing that I wanna do home management wise is for my anti-procrastination day, I have a buttload of paperwork that I need to get completed. Like my gosh, I'm just so tired of filling out paperwork for these children. But um, I will probably do that tonight since I have gotten so much done already. So probably once the kids are in bed, I'll pour me a little sip a sip, mm -hmm. maybe turn on a movie and just fill out as much as I can. And hopefully I can get it done or just do that if tomorrow goes as smoothly as today has went, I can also work on it tomorrow. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I will check back in with you guys in the next vlog. Bye.